I've learnt on the entrepreneur journey and the experience and the skills and knowledge I'm learning. Along the journey as an entrepreneur and talking to people, which at the time, and I'm not making this an excuse, I found it very difficult speaking in the early days when I was a young boy, I had a speech problem because I had a unique hearing defect and I couldn't pronounce my words properly. And especially with my Yorkshire accent, I was lazy, still am. And that is one thing I'm learning on the entrepreneur. That is one of my weaknesses is my speech and I'm learning. And to be a successful person, you have really got to be able to speak clearly and properly. And I'm learning that on the entrepreneur journey and I'm improving it slightly bit by bit. It's taking me a long time, be not because of my difficulties when I was young. I'm not making that as an excuse because I can improve my speech, but speak is important. I know on some of my videos, I've watched myself and I find myself doing, um, uh, um, um, yeah, you'll see a lot of my videos doing that, but that is a weakness of mine and I will improve it. Because speaking in business and getting over your point and your presentation in a fluent way is very important in life, especially in sales. If you want to make a sale, you've got to be able to speak properly, fluently, strong and at the right tempo and at the right speed without ums and ahs. I do it all the time. I put ums and ahs in it. And I still do. And I'm learning to stop that. I found one technique, a great technique, and I'm applying it to my speech. So I stop doing ums and ahs, um, ums and ahs. The reason why we do a um and ah, like um, um, is because we're giving our, ourselves time to think of the next sentence. So we're pausing, it's a pause. Um, and within the seconds, you're giving yourself time to think what you're going to say next. A good technique is when somebody ask you a question how much does that cost me to buy instead of saying um it's going to cost um 10 pound or 10 dollars instead of giving yourself time to think about what you're going to answer a good technique I've found and I've learned is to repeat the question back to them, which is giving you a few seconds to be able to think of what you're going to say. So if they say, how much is that going to cost me? You could say, well, I'll tell you how much that's going to cost you. It's going to cost you $10 or 10 pound. As you can hear, I've given myself a few seconds to think about the next sentence instead of going um, um, um. So try, give that technique a go because it works. And I'm using that technique all the time and improving my speech. So speaking is really important. And on the journey, 
that's what I'm learning is able to speak a bit more fluently but you've still got to be authentic I believe being in your be yourself if you're not used to using big massive words from the dictionary and you don't even know what them words mean but you're trying to come over more intelligent and using words and putting that that ain't the way to go although the dictionary will help you improve your vocabulary but don't try to do it put in big massive words what ain't coming across with your personality and character you've got to get a balance so speech is improving on the entrepreneur journey i'm improving all the time and this is one area i've got to improve massively and that's why it's the entrepreneur journey because i'm not proclaiming I'm successful yet. I'm not proclaiming that I'm a millionaire and successful. You're seeing the journey as I go along, learning and experiencing and gaining the knowledge and skills and actually seeing my defects. I'm putting my defects in front of the cat in front of the camera as I'm going along the journey. But eventually you'll see that I'm improving because we improve on the journey. And I want you to improve on the journey. It's not about starting a business when you're perfect because perfection doesn't exist. Start from where you are with your flaws, with your difficulties, with your setbacks like me. I have problems with speech because I have an hearing infection. Um, you've got to be brutal about yourself. I've got difficulties with my bottom teeth now um i've not lost any teeth what it is i've got weak gums and the teeth are moving so i will sort that out for me i want to do it for me but that's why my teeth have got a few gaps in as i'm getting older my gums have got weaker but i've not lost any teeth but i'll sort that out later on i'll get that sorted so if you see any problems and difficulties along your entrepreneur journey, find a solution and get it sorted. Like me, I know my weaknesses. And most of us emphasize on our strengths and we don't like admitting our weaknesses. But you've got to admit your weaknesses on your journey and improve on them weaknesses and make them weaknesses strong and bring them up to par. Don't just concentrate on your strengths and portray that. We've all got weaknesses. You've got weaknesses. You've got flaws. I've got flaws. We're not perfect and perfection doesn't exist. And if you wait to be perfect... Before you start something, you'll never get it done. I started my entrepreneur journey from where I was as a toilet cleaner. No money, no prospects, just working in a meanful job, toilet cleaning. I didn't have any decent clothes. I didn't have much education. I can't speak properly. I've got gum problems. I'm not glamorous. You won't put me on a front cover. But I start from where I am and I start from what I've got and my weaknesses. And along the journey, I will, weak, I will work on all them weaknesses. So I'm working on my speech. I'll improve my appearance. And on the journey as I go along, you'll see a change. I'm changing myself. Change yourself. Be brutally honest about yourself and work on yourself and improve yourself along the journey. Don't be scared to criticise yourself and look at yourself and look at your weaknesses. Oh, my entrepreneur journey is helping you on your journey to become a better person and to start that business venture 
and start improving your life and come away from being mediocre and mediocrity and improve your life and change your life, change yourself one step at a time and really look at your life. You can change it from where you are. You don't have to stay where you are. I could have stayed being a toilet cleaner for the rest of my life until I die and not go along the journey improving. And I've started late in life. I'm older than you young guys out there and girls. Don't wait till you're too old and then starting. But you're never too old. But if you can improve yourself straight away and gradually build on yourself don't wait to be perfect some people wait till they can speak properly till they're good looking till they've got money till they've got um, great clothes till they're educated till they know exactly about the business know everything i threw myself into the business venture not knowing anything and just doing it experiencing it on the journey and gaining and learning that's how i'm learning learn on your entrepreneur journey and improve yourself and remember keep watching subscribe give me thumbs up to peter corrigan the entrepreneur journey and let's go together learning the mistakes and admitting our flaws and mistakes along the journey together and hope to see you in my next videos and remember you take care of each other bye bye